When prosecutors in the San Francisco area downgraded a felony attack on a church to a misdemeanor last week, Catholic leaders said it was just the latest sign that crimes against Christians are going unpunished. Archbishop of San Francisco Salvador Cordelion said last week that he was, quote, disturbed but not surprised. He wrote, quote, this crime likely would have been charged as a hate crime, at least if it were perpetrated against certain other minority and vulnerable groups of people. The crime involved the destruction of a statue of a saint at a California church in 2020. Those involved will not face jail time. It's not the first incident of leniency toward attacks on Christian and Catholic churches recently. Last month, the Biden Justice Department recommended no jail time for a transgender person who destroyed part of a Catholic church in Washington state and assaulted a church worker there. There have been 160 attacks on Catholic churches since the leak of a Supreme Court opinion overturning Roe v. Wade last year, according to Catholic Vote, an organization that tracks those incidents. But critics say the Biden administration has put far too little effort toward policing the attacks. They also note the FBI has instead looked at targeting Catholic churches for surveillance. They were looking, the FBI in the Richmond field office was looking to put sources in churches, have informants in Catholic parishes. That's what they were looking to do. Someone needs to give them a lesson in the First Amendment. Despite a speed of attacks over the past year on churches and anti-abortion clinics, the Justice Department has made relatively few arrests. Even fewer appear to have been charged as hate crimes with some perpetrators facing only vandalism charges. Sarah Bedford for The Washington Examiner.